You know, eight years ago, I couldn't get a needle out of my arm. And today, like, I have a rope with someone else's life on the end of it. And that's all been made possible by Phoenix. We lose a loved one every four minutes to an overdose. And the problem is as big as it's ever been. So we have to find a new approach. We use the inherent transformative power of sports and community to help people heal from substance use disorder and ultimately to transform their lives. Awesome, nice work. For me, drinking and drugging was how I tried to address self-esteem wounds from when I was a little kid. I was dealing with a lot of depression. The last night I used, I realized like how my life was gonna end if I kept on with my addiction. I was on a bender and I just couldn't imagine somebody having to tell my mom that that's how I died. And that was the last night I used. For me, getting into the boxing gym was really transformational because the coaches believed in me even if I didn't yet believe in myself. Once I started to hold that belief, that helped me start to heal from my addiction. That was like the foundation of what later would become Phoenix. I think one thing that's special about coming down to Moab for the Phoenix trip is that people come from everywhere to be part of this trip. For me, pills turned into heroin, and uh, it was just a really slippery slope from there. My first Phoenix event was at uh, the rock climbing gym. I met Todd and Kaylee that night. To be able to relate to somebody and know that they've been through some of the same things that you have kind of makes you have a connection to that person. So um, I got arrested seven times in six months, and one of the things the drug court judge recommended to me was that I go to Phoenix. Nobody there was ashamed of the fact that they were in recovery. Yeah, that kind of started to change my perception of it all right there. I think at the height of my addiction, I did heroin every day, all day. All my muscles had atrophied and my kidneys were failing. During my drinking and using, relationships with others were never healthy. But Phoenix has shown me that we get close to people through sharing our struggle. David is the epitome of what recovery can look like. When I first met him, he was living in a shelter and had nothing. Have fun. Let's do it. All right, climbing. Come on. You know, Phoenix doesn't give people strength. It helps them tap into their intrinsic strength. There you go, nice. It's really not about who we were in our addiction. It's about who we are in our recovery. Nice. Yeah. There it is. Look at that. Awesome. What did you think, six months ago you were going to be doing this? I know, I know. This is uh, it's awesome. <laughs> A little scraped up, but. Uh, one thing I think that's special about the Phoenix when people come here is that together, you're kind of looking out at the greater adversity of the rock climb or the hike. And in that struggle, you build a bond. Very good. And in those bonds, you find the support you need to stay sober. It's like kind of getting out of a burning building, right? Like there's some responsibility to reach back in and help the next person out because they remember what it was like to have somebody there for them when they first stepped into recovery. Come walk over to the right a little. Oop. There you go. Nope, not that way. <laughs> Oop. <laughs> Can you guys bring it in kind of tight? One thing that I do every year is I carry one little pebble with me, just sort of as a memory of, of folks we've lost. If you have somebody you're thinking about today, feel free to carry a pebble, and we'll circle up and talk about that a little bit after we go to the arch. This like whole trip really is kind of a gratitude trip for like these lives we get in recovery. And I know a bunch of you guys picked up a little pebble on the way up here. And I always like to do that just to hold in my heart, you know, those people that we lost. My mom passed this year from Alzheimer's. So this year, this year, this one's from my mom. 
this little, like, sweet woman who, like, stuck with me through my addiction. She loved Phoenix. Like, she loved all you guys. <laughs> if anybody else brought a pebble up here and they want to put it here, and every year when we come visit here, we can think of those folks. Todd and I? We're married. A lot of our relationships started right here in Moab. Yeah. Phoenix has played a big role in that. Yeah, it introduced us to a way of life that we could share, and that really our relationship is founded on the adventure that Phoenix showed us is possible. In 11 years, over 24,000 people have come to Phoenix. The more people we can touch with this, the more people can sit around fires like this in communities across the country. We as humans, all of us, whether you struggle with addiction or not, are trying to figure out how to connect somewhere where we feel accepted and loved. Imagine if, as a society, we could help give that to each other. It sounds like a lofty goal, but I don't think it is. Yeah.